Well, they've seen some reports that uh, MI5 uh, had opened a file on Jeremy Corbyn in the mm. early 90s because of his links to Irish republicanism. Uh, and this has caused some uh, people's, mm. not the MI5 business, but his links to the IRA, Sinn Féin, have caused some concern. I want just you to listen to this clip, this radio clip, and then get you to react. Do you oh. condemn what the IRA did? I condemn all bombing. It's not a good idea. It's terrible what happened. It's not and, the question. Uh, the question is, do you condemn what the IRA did? <clears throat> Look, I condemn what was done by the British Army as well as by other sides as well. But what happened in Derry in 1972 was pretty devastating as well. Do you distinguish between state forces, what the British Army did, and the IRA? Well, in a sense, the... Um, treatment of IRA prisoners, which made them into virtual political prisoners, suggested that the um, British government and the state saw some kind of almost equivalence in it. Now, I, my point is that the whole violence issue was terrible, was appalling, and came out of a, a process that um, had been allowed to fester in Northern Ireland for a very long time. Well, that was from about two years ago. Can, can you explain why the leader of the Labour Party, Her Majesty's opposition, the man who would be our next Prime Minister, finds it so hard to condemn IRA bombing? Well, I think, it, again, I think it has to be in the context of Jeremy Corbyn for many years trying to move the peace pro process along. Well, but if you're trying to move the peace process along, why wouldn't you condemn IRA bombing? Well, I think, again, th that was an issue. That was a, 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 a traumatic event in Irish-British uh, relations that went on for 30 years. And it is a complicated matter. Yeah. And I think Jeremy well, Corbyn during that not period that, of time... Bombing is not that complicated. No, if, I, you are, and, if you're a man of peace, I, surely let, you would condemn the bomb and the bullet. Well, let me say this. I condemn the bomb and the bullet. Why can't can your leader just say that? Well, uh, you'd have to ask Jeremy Corbyn, but that is in the context of what he was trying to do over a 30-year period or 25-year period to move the peace process along.